Max was bursting with excitement as he woke up early on the day of the school science fair. It was his chance to showcase his project about volcanoes, and he could wait to see what his classmates would think. As Max arrived at school, the gymnasium was transformed into a colorful room filled with tables displaying all sorts of science projects. There was a whirlpool of curious students and proud parents wandering from one display to another, eager to see the wonders of science. Max stood proudly by his stall, which had a mini volcano model. E. E. Max. Do you know how volcanoes are formed? Let me show you, he exclaimed to a passing group of students. Max explained how tectonic plates in the Earth's crust occasionally smash into each other or pull apart, allowing magma from below the surface to escape. He had built a simple volcano model from a papier-mâché cone and used soda and vinegar to demonstrate an eruption. Look, this is like a real volcano. When I pour the vinegar into the soda, it creates bubbles and foam, just like magma pushing its way through the Earth. Max said, as the small crowd around him watched in amazement. The school science teacher, Mr. Anderson, stopped by Max's booth. Wonderful job, Max. You've really made the science of volcanoes fun and easy to understand, he said. Max felt proud and relieved. He had spent weeks reading about volcanoes and practicing his presentation, and now it seemed like the hard work had paid off. As Max wandered through the fair, he saw projects on electricity, the solar system, and even homemade robots. He learned a lot from everyone and appreciated the creativity his schoolmates had put into their displays. Finally, it was time for the judges to announce the winners. The principal stepped onto the stage and said, in third place, a fantastic project on volcanoes by Max. The crowd cheered and Max's face lit up. Returning home with a prize in his hand and a heart full of happiness, Max couldn't wait for next year's science fair. After all, science gave him the chance to discover and share his ideas with others. Maybe next time, he would explore the wonders of space or dive into the mysteries of the ocean. Max knew one thing for sure. Science was not just about experiments. It was a way for him to learn, imagine, and have fun.